guys, and welcome to the first View Amoeba podcast. I have not come up with a name yet, but I would like if you guys gave some name suggestions in the comments. Maybe by the time of this video coming out, I will have come up with a really cool name for the podcast. Now, essentially, what I'm going to do this podcast, I'm going to take some new news that, you know, uh, re is relevant to um, nerd stuff, pretty much, I guess you could say. You know, gaming, comics, movies, etc. And uh, I'll, I talk about it. And sometimes I'll even get some guest stars on uh, the podcast. But this week is just going to be me since this is the first podcast. And I wanted it to be, and I wanted it to be kind of special, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so the news I was going to talk about this week was the new Batman game revealed to be coming out soon. Um, Warner Brother Games, which I heard a little rumor that Warner Brother Warner Brothers was trying to sell the Warner Brother Games, is planning on making a Batman game similar to the Arkham series of games and uh well this article didn't really tell me much but what i do know is they had they've had a lot of different ideas for this at first they were like yeah yeah it might just be like a direct se sequel to arkham knight which i think would be the last game in the arkham series because you know there was i think well timeline was it goes Arkham Origins, Arkham Asylum, uh, Arkham City, Arkham Knight, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how it goes in as far as like order goes. And this was supposed to be a sequel to Batman Arkham Knight. And there was a bunch of rumors going around that it was going to be Damian Wayne as uh, Batman and taking up the mantle as Batman, which... In Arkham City, I do believe there was a lot of stuff going with Talia al Ghul, which would have made Damian Wayne possible in canon, whatever. But, then, you know, all that speculation happened, and then we've had a lot more speculation recently, and it seems like this one might be the official, official verdict on the game, and it's going to be a soft reboot of the Batman Arkham, uh, stuff which is pretty cool if you ask me i mean because i feel like arkham knight was a good ending to the arkham franchise of games and that's why i really think that having this be kind of a new reboot is a better idea it's a safer idea than going the damian wayne route you know so we now have a true Batman game instead of a, well, I guess you could say Robin pretending to be Batman game. Um, due to the coronavirus, it was pushed back a lot. Um, it was originally planned to be revealed at E3 in 2020, like the article here says. Uh, COVID-19 obviously canceled e E3, but... Uh, what we do know is, it's believed that Ra's al Ghul and the Court of Owls will be the villains, which we all know Ra's al Ghul and Lazarus Pit, but the Court of Owls are a bit of a lesser-ish known Batman villain, and villains, sorry, there's multiple people in the Court of Owls, but either way, I think that's really cool, Court of Owls in the comics, obviously, they're like a weird cult almost and it's honestly a very cool concept and i'm excited to see how how that plays in the game i uh, if i had to guess it'd be on the playstation 5 and xbox series x uh, if you don't own one of the new consoles by then then i don't know if the game will be on the xbox one and the playstation 4 or not because they may just be making games strictly for the new consoles at that point. Uh, apparently they've been hinting at 
the game referencing Batman Beyond and kind of similar to Batman Beyond. Which, if y'all haven't seen the cartoon, it's like Batman's really old in the future, and there's this new dude taking up the mantle of Batman, whatever. But maybe they'll go a more traditional route with this. And uh, I know that DC, not DC, but Warner Brother Games is already planning on a new Suicide Squad game, which that's that's a bit interesting. Um. <laughs> A Suicide Squad game is something, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's weird, alright? I mean, you got, I mean, it's, the Suicide Squad game would be really easy to do, because you got people like Harley Quinn, who's more of a punchy character, and, you, you know, you got a lot of people that it would be easy to translate into a game, but the real problem is, I don't know where they go with that, you know? That's kind of a weird thing to add in the game. I don't know who the villain would be, how they would do it. Maybe it would be similar to the new Marvel's Avengers game coming out here in like a month or two. I just went and pre-ordered it today. So I'm really excited for that game and get to suit up as the Avengers and go fight the Taskmaster. I believe that's the villain for the game. And so I... I think the Suicide Squad game would be kind of like that, but hopefully they do what the Avengers game is not doing in a sense, and that is having an open world. Because I've heard some rumors of the new Avengers game being pay to win. I'm praying to God it's not pay to win. I, I hope it. Well, I, it probably is, and that's what sucks. It's not going to be like a open, open world kind of thing, you know, like, not like GTA 5 open world, which is what would have been cool, but to be like the Avengers on, and you could play online, but it's going to be similar to that from what I heard, but I think the Suicide Squad game would be very similar to that, you know, a team of superhero game, so I'm excited to see what Warner Brothers does with, um, you know, all their new games that they're going to be making for DC. Maybe eventually, or in well, the near future, we'll get a um, Injustice 3. Now, I, I really do like the Injustice games. They're fighters. You know, very similar to Mortal Kombat and gameplay and just, well, everything. <laughs> but I'm praying that we're going to get a good sequel to Injustice 2, because I really like Injustice 2, it's a fun game, I play it a lot, I may eventually play it on the channel, I gotta get some more gameplay out for you guys, um, but, Warner Brothers has some plans with DC, and I think, comic book properties as a whole have a big future in the video game market, now obviously they have dominated movies for years, um, but now I think they're going to start taking over the video game market a lot. I mean, we had Spider-Man PS4, which was a really big hit, and now, um, we're going to get Spider-Man Miles Morales, so that's another cool thing. So, superheroes are taking over video games now, man, like they took over the movie industry. It's only a matter of time, I guess. <laughs> but, it is still really cool, nonetheless. Sorry guys, I'm a little tired. <laughs> but we got the Avengers coming out, we got Spider Man coming out, we got a new Batman game and a Suicide Squad game. All to look forward to. I, um but back to I was talking about the Batman Arkham games. I forgot where I was at, but yeah, yeah, the Batwing, I really hope we can play as that and the Batmobile again like we did in Arkham Knight. Hopefully it's not too too uh, relying on the Batmobile, cause like, I'll, I'll just be playing Batman Arkham Knight, and I just really want to go fight some dudes, and it's just like, another Batmobile mission, and I'm just like, I don't want to fight any more of these stupid tanks, just let me go fight some dudes with my fist, cause, let's just face it, Batman Arkham game, fighting is fun, and I'm really 
I really, really, really love the fighting, and that's what inspired a lot of superhero games like it. Um, I do know that it's supposed to have like a four times bigger map than Arkham Knight, which Arkham Knight had a pretty big map. I mean, it's not big, big, but it's it's a decent size, you know. Wink, wink. I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, anyway. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes, but no, it's supposed to have like a a lot bigger map, like five times bigger is what I heard, which is friggin' awesome. We'll get a lot of a lot of place to explore, you know. Um, and then it looks like it's might it might be like one of the better Batman games we've gotten in a while, cause you know. It's just all in due time. There's a lot of other games planning on. I've heard coming out. I'm excited for like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. You see right here on the corner of the screen, uh, and a, a lot of other stuff. But we're gonna get a lot more superhero games. Like I said, and that's what I'm really excited for. I do apologize for the Facebook notifications. There we go. It's a little bit better. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited. Batman's coming. Avengers are coming. Spider Man Miles Morales is coming. And the Suicide Squad game is coming, so a lot of games coming out and I'll be here to play them, most likely. Except for the fact that Spider Man's a PlayStation exclusive, which really makes me mad. Because I have an Xbox and that's a buy a PlayStation. But with anyways, with all that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed my first little podcast. I know it wasn't a very long podcast today. Not as long as what we would normally have. Um, that's what she said. Now, <laughs> one thing I would like to add. Watch time from subscribers. Only 26.9% percent of people who watch my videos are subscribed and 73.1 percent who do are not subscribed and so like you should really subscribe and make this number right here go down and make this number right here go up i'd like to see more subscribers watching my videos um and also make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I have new releases for my videos. I know I'm a little bit unpredictable when things come out, but like, I'm busy. I'm a busy boy. <laughs> um, and also be sure to go subscribe to Alpha Force. We work really hard over there to get videos for y'all all the time. And I think the podcast here might be a good little or new addition to the channel. I haven't come up with a name yet, but probably by the time I uh, upload this video, I'll probably get a name for it and then put it in the uh, uh, thumbnail. <laughs> a bit unprofessional, but I can't come up with a name. I mean, if you guys got any better suggestions, I'll change it. Just put it in the comment section below, and uh, y'all have a good day.